Well, from Akron News Channel 5's Barbara Meek shows us if you think you can do that, then you happen to be dead wrong. Well, how many times do you actually stop and look both ways at a railroad crossing before you drive over the tracks? If you don't, this could change everything. I've got to warn you, it's a bit graphic. It's our exclusive video of a train crashing into a car. Don't worry, nobody got hurt. It's tonight's special assignment. You're in a hurry. You think you can make it. You try to race the train. But when there's a tie, you lose. This is real, but only a demonstration. News Channel 5 arranged this crash with Conrail and Operation Lifesaver to help educate people about the dangers of rail crossings. And unfortunately, drivers make bad decisions when they see a train coming. Bad decisions like this one. This public service announcement tells it bluntly. <laughs> Train crashes occur every 100 minutes. When it comes to the number of crashes and fatalities, our state is the fifth worst. That's why we set up this demonstration, to show you why you should never, ever try to outrace a train. And we want to show you what the train sees. Yeah, Pittsburgh West, uh, CA2X, uh, we're ready to do our simulation here. Uh... We used 11 cameras, one in the air, one in a field, another next to the tracks. We had a camera on the front of the train and even inside the car. No one could have survived this crash and the train was traveling only 35 miles an hour. We strapped a dummy into the driver's seat. Here again is what occurred inside the car. This driver's decision to beat the train would have been dead wrong. And I see it every day too. There's people always going around the gates trying to beat the train. Let's put it this way. If you can see the train, the train can see you. And when the train sees you, it's too late. I don't think he's gonna move. The locomotive engineer doesn't have enough track to stop the train. It takes a mile. You know, you're on edge and you don't know what to do. And... Just before impact, just like in this PSA, the engineer sees the expression on people's faces. He has to live with their decision. Stop! People must make the assumption that when they come to a grade crossing, there could be a train coming. And uh, for them to think that uh, there's no train to come at this hour, that's a very deadly uh, premise. Basically, a railroad crossing is an intersection like every other intersection in this country. And I can't imagine someone sitting at a red light, seeing an 18-wheeler coming down the road at 50 miles per hour and then pulling out in front of it because they want to try to beat that to, to gain a couple seconds. But people do that every day with trains. The next time you come to a railroad crossing, think about this. Kind of a simple saying that we say when you approach a highway rail grade crossing, look, listen, and live.